What's up, you guys? I know I'm looking crazy. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Today's Saturday, August 1st. So we're in a brand new month and um, get ready to kill it. Like a new month for me always means something because I feel like it's just another opportunity to kill my goals, to um, just do something that I want to do. I feel like God's given me another month and I need to do something with it. And we sold our new house. They know that already. <laughs> yes, um, but I, I I just feel like it's a it's a brand new month to do something different, and um, like I said, God gave me another opportunity, so I need to do something with it. So I'm sitting here planning out all of my goals for August, my social media goals, my just like personal goals and things that I want to accomplish. Obviously, like Morgan said, our house is sold, so things move full steam ahead from here and we really need to um, start packing up this house. So this week, I wanna make sure I pack up, what's on, is it two or three things? I think I, I put like an ambitious goal to pack up two or three things. And it doesn't have to be like pack up my whole closet. It could just be like pack up the jeans section of my closet or pack up the, you know, the dresses section, bless you, that I know I'm not going to wear or pack up a drawer, stuff like that. I want to tackle this in bite-sized pieces because I literally want to go through and declutter every single thing. Anything that's not serving a purpose, I don't want to bring it to um, the new house. I don't want it to get cluttered, which I know it eventually will, but I just, I want to do my part to not bring the clutter, you know? And it's also wash day. I don't know. I probably won't wash my hair till tomorrow. I just don't have the energy. But my hair is just growing like a weed. Like it's growing so crazy. It's been braided for the last like five weeks. But it's growing so crazy. Yeah, it's been braided since like a week before the girls recital. My mom came over and braided it. So that was like June 20th. And it's August 1st. So, um... It definitely needs a wash. I'm going to wash it and probably leave it out for a few days. And then I'm going to have my mom braid it again by the end of the week. Um, because it just needs to stay braided. And I'm not going to get it straightened or anything because I'm working out like crazy. So that would just be a waste. But yeah, this is this is the hair that we're working with today. I'm not doing nothing with it today. So y'all going to see me like this. And you're going to like it. Boom, boom. <laughs> so... Um, nothing really going on today. I have a lot of cleaning to do. Like I said, I might try to pack some stuff up. I have some editing to do. Just finished editing a video that went live this morning. I usually don't post videos or we usually don't post videos on Saturdays, but, um, we have to catch up on the vlogs. So I'm trying to catch up. So we posted an extra bonus vlog that I hope you guys loved. And, um, yeah, I need to make the girls breakfast and figure out what I'm going to eat and get my day started. So talk to you guys soon. Say hi. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi. Say I'm MJ. Oh, those toesies are cold. Mm. <laughs> I'll show y'all the ending results. These pancakes are so good, okay? It's ugly right now because I've been eating it. But the nice thing is you don't need as much syrup on the outside because you cook it with the syrup on the inside. I haven't made a hot breakfast in a while, so I was like, Thank you, Mom. Let's just do it. What? More pancakes. And someone's asking for more pancakes. Yeah. 
I have so much hair, y'all. And I think he was more like... It's about, well, it's 1.37. I finally got the baby to go back to sleep. So we're on borrowed time right now. I'm pumping and I need to clean out the refrigerator. There's a bunch of stuff in there that just is old or bad and just shouldn't be there. Plus, I'm trying to make my grocery list so I can meal plan for the week. So I um, thought I'd bring you guys along. I haven't done a refrigerator clean out, a really good clean out in a long time. And it'll probably be a while since we're moving because this refrigerator is actually gonna belong to the new owner. Um, she wanted our appliances. So we have to leave, let me turn this a little bit. We have to leave all of our appliances here, the washer, the dryer, the refrigerator, everything. So we have to buy all that new, which you guys have already seen us shopping for, but oh, let's get rid of some stuff. Like, that lettuce looks okay. I know for a fact, this is old lettuce. I'm not gonna do a deep clean. I'm just gonna take out some of the stuff that shouldn't be here. y'all so i just cleaned out the fridge to see what we have and what we don't and now i sat down to meal plan <laughs> my lv apparently didn't stop when it was supposed to and i have milk all over me but um anyway so what i'm doing here is i sit down like every week to try to plan some meals try to plan some dinners lunch i usually do a free-for-all but i'm trying to get better i don't want to eat out as much this month that's one of my goals for august so um alexa turn the volume down so yeah, I don't want to eat out as much. That's one of my goals. So I'm trying to uh, meal plan here. And I plan five dinners per week. So I only plan five because I know for a fact we're going to go out to eat one or two of those days. Or one day I just may sit down and eat cereal. I don't know. I get like real finicky about cooking every day. I don't like to cook. Y'all know that. So when I do cook just know that I don't like to do it so I'm doing it just because I kind of have to so I'm planning out five meals and I also need to go grocery shopping but we're it's a little tricky right now because we need to keep our groceries very low because we're moving so we need to really be filtering out all the stuff in the pantry all the stuff in the cabinets all the stuff in the freezers that's kind of our goal for the next two months is to filter all that stuff out so I'm trying to choose meals with foods that we have here, which we don't have much. Um, but I, I just need to, we need to make a conscious effort to use that stuff that's in like the freezers and the pantry. So um, I have these cards here. These are from, let me turn on the light in here. All right, that's a little better. So we, y'all know we get like every plate boxes. We get those meal boxes. So we, we've done Green Chef. We've done uh, HelloFresh. We've done every plate. And so I keep most of the cards. I keep them in a drawer back there. And then when I'm looking for meal ideas, I go through them and see what I can really cook on my own because all these meals i think the appeal of them is just that you don't have to go grocery shopping everything is there for you but all these meals that come in these boxes you can really make these on your own like it's super simple we make the meals as is we make our own version of it and they're really simple and really easy that's another thing i love about these because you get new meal ideas and so i pulled out three cards and then um i'm gonna figure out the other two meals so i pulled out the honey balsamic chicken i pulled out the balsamic fig beef tenderloin and then i also pulled out the pecan crusted trout so 
we have chicken here we don't have any beef and we don't have any trout so i have pork chops and i have chicken here so the other two meals for the week are going to have to be made with pork chops um, or chicken and so tomorrow is sunday i don't know if we're gonna cook on sunday it's hit or miss since my mom takes the kids um sometimes we'll go out to eat and then go pick them up sometimes we'll we'll cook um, so I'm not going to plan for Sunday, but for Monday, um, let's see, for Monday we can go with the pecan trout. Okay, so that's four meals, but it's five days worth of meals. Now, I may not cook Monday through Friday. It may like roll over to a Saturday or Sunday or something like that. But my goal is to make five dinners. Not only that, but hopefully I can try to make an extra meal since I'm here all day during the day so I can eat it for lunch so I don't have to go out to eat for lunch every day as well. So those are going to be my meals for my five meals for the week. We're going to have trout twice, beef tenderloin, honey chicken, and then another chicken meal, which I don't know what that'll be. It could be pasta, it could be whatever. So I already have chicken here, like I said, so I just need to grab some beef and grab some trout this week. So the size of these meals, it looks like there's a salad in one, there is Brussels sprouts, and then there are broccoli, and then there's potatoes. So I need to get some Brussels sprouts, some salad mix, which I love making salads for lunch. So that's fine. And then I also need to get some broccoli. So I'm gonna write those down now. All right, so I just made the grocery list. I added some things to it. I'm out of coffee, we're out of strawberries. We needed some milk, some mayo, some syrup, some snacks for the kids, some waffles. So I added a few things to the grocery list, but I like to do this on either Saturdays or Sundays, most likely Saturdays, because on Sundays is when I like to go grocery shopping with Mark. So um, I added a few things to the list. I have our dinners all laid out and now we have a plan for the week. It just makes things a lot easier. So I'm not coming home like, what am I gonna cook today? I don't feel like cooking today, blah, 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 blah. You know what? Let me show you guys what I use here. This is called the Start Planner. I've been using this for a month now. I got this starting in July and I am in love. I just have it in my little Louis Vuitton inspired cover, my A5 planner. And this is called the Start Planner. You can find it on their website. I found this brand on Instagram and I am just in love. So it has a space every single week for groceries, for meal planning, for like your to-do list for the week. And then it has this like top three priorities for the week as well here. So I use this for, to write down like the videos I wanna film and edit for the week, um, things I need to do, the groceries, the meal planning. It's just like everything in one space for the week, which is very nice because before I had different planners for different things. Now I have my budget stuff in here. I have my goals in here. I have my meal prep and plan, my grocery list, my to-do list, my everything. Everything I have in this one planner. This is what I've been looking for forever. And it's A5 binder ring, so I can add, if I need to add like note pages on the back, which I've done, I can add different pages into the binder. So this is such a good planner, definitely a great planner. I will, if I can remember, I'll link it down below. You guys will have to keep me honest and let me know if I forget, but um, yeah, I love that planner. All right, y'all, so we just got finished with the grocery list for next week, but now we're about to make dinner for today. I'm about to show you the easiest pasta recipe that I found that is amazing. It's a crock pot pasta. It's 3.13 now. Mark gets off at six o'clock, so he'll be home around seven-ish, and the food will be just about done. I just keep looking at this thing, but the food will be just about done when he is home. This is the easiest pasta dish, and it is so tasty. So, I have my crock pot, my crock pot sitting right here. All you need is chicken breast, you need some penne pasta or whatever type of pasta you like, it doesn't really matter. A 16 ounce 
um, thing of Italian dressing. So I'm using the Olive Garden Italian dressing. You need a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And then you need some cream cheese. This is the easiest recipe ever and it's so delicious y'all, I promise. I will put the link to the recipe down below in the description box. You guys have to try this, it's so good. And just again, so easy. All right, so first things first, you know what? I'm gonna move this camera angle so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so first things first, we add the chicken. 